Welcome back to King Wells Court, episode 26 is inbound. Ooh. I have a very special guest with me today and um, a very, very good, very fantastic fucking musician. And it, it's not past your bedtime yet, is it? Oh, no, no, no. I don't go to sleep until like 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, welcome into King Wells Court today, Tomas Hines. How Thank are you, you, brother? You keeping well? I'm, I'm doing good now, really good. That's what I like to hear. I've I stumbled across you from the Ashiri or oh, yeah. All Around the Metal Project. And I've heard so many good things about you and your approach to your style of music because it's it you know, we're total opposite ends of the metal spectrum here. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, and I, I'm I'm a person that's not afraid to talk about something and I'm not that I'm not overly familiar with. But mm. so it should it should be an interesting um, episode today. First so, of all, how are you keeping? Doing good, man. With this whole COVID pandemic, everything seems to be going well. Just yeah. waiting for the shows to start coming back. That's the uh, main thing. And you're a, a one-man band, we'll say. Yeah. Really. Now, you gave me my lessons about this earlier on. Um, <laughs> for Ayo for Kanuka. No, Gananuka, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Which is, of course, it's everyone should know this. It's unexplored forests yep. in Irish. Um, I'm fascinated with, uh, like, it's such a long, well, it's such a, uh, imagine, imagine if you were trying to pronounce that, if you were, like, I don't know, French or something, like, you know? Yeah. So give me a little bit of history about the name and, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. Because, as I say, I want people to know you. So mm, Well, well, I'll start with the, the name. Yeah. Um, I was with my brother. Uh, we were walking down a lane beside our house and we went fairly f- deep into this forest behind. Um, we got there and I was already thinking of names for a one man project. And then it just stumbled across my head. I was like, unexplored forests. But then I, I thought that sounded too, too plain. So I decided to translate into Irish and um for she kind of knew it, that's where it was born awesome yeah it, it's very um foreboding or something I don't know it's it's very dark now you yeah. describe your music and because I, I you know I, I as depressive suicidal is that right yeah do you want to elaborate on that for me yeah I will <laughs> um so like it started out as atmospheric and um then I started going through some rough patches and a very dark place. And um, okay. that's when I started writing The Silent Moon at Dawn, the new album. So then that's when it kind of shifted into DSPM from Atmospheric. So that's it, really. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I was like, depressive suicide. I'm like, <laughs> do I want to listen? No, I will listen to it. Like, you know, and um I have to be honest with you. I have to. I, I, I was listening to the, the new album there on Bandcamp earlier on, and um, fantastic. Thank you. Like Thank I said, I, I wouldn't be a, a huge fan of black metal, but Jesus, that's fantastic. And Thanks, man. You did everything yourself on that, did you? Yep. And I did that, everything. Jesus, that's that's fantastic. That is, and I'm not just saying it. That's brilliant. Like you know, I, I don't even remember what I was doing when I was fifteen. For fuck's sake! Oh yeah, by the way, everybody, he's fifteen fucking years old, <laughs> which gives me serious hope for the future of our Irish musicians. Because that's what I hope. Yes, absolutely. You're a beacon of a dark beacon of light. We'll say <laughs> a dark beacon of light. <laughs> and so, um, how did you get into black metal? Talk to me about that, man. Right. So. Um, my brother, shout out to my brother, Sean, by the way. Hey, Sean. Um, <laughs> he's, um, really big metalhead. Cool. Huge metalhead. Um, I, I, I need to remember this now. It was when Mayhem released. It was one of their live in wherever albums. Mm. My brother showed it to me. I really liked it. And then... I stopped listening to it for a while. Then one day in the car, I was like, fuck it. Might as well just give it a second try as I usually do. And um, I really got into it then. Like really, really got into it. That was around 
12, 13, maybe. But like I've heard of black metal before when I was really young and metal. I I was listening to metal since I was like six, seven, really. And um, then I've obviously heard of black metal, didn't really listen to it until around 12 or 13. So around the start of my teenagers. Cool. But it obviously made a big impact on you to oh, yeah. make you want to go down that path, we'll say, that crooked path, you know, because it is it. I mean, I know it's evolved, I suppose you could say, over the years. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the original guys, if they're not dead, they're, they're at least able to play their instruments now. Mm, because they're so old. Yeah. But like, you know, like, I mean... I wouldn't. I can't appreciate uh, the only kind of stuff I can really appreciate is boresum. Oh yeah. Uh, but um, uh, but the atmospheric stuff, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Um. The the other stuff where it sounds like they're hitting a Pepsi can, I'm just <laughs> it's just not for me, you know. Yeah. But it it's has, not everybody's. But it has its place in history, though. Mm. It has 100%. seriously has its place in history, and you anybody has has to respect that, you know. I mean, like I mean, it was a way of life for them over in Norway and. Oh yeah, it 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 was a really big scene over in Norway, like yeah. like people actually got killed over it, a lot of satanic shit. Mm. It's like crazy, and, what do you think of yeah, it? yeah, man. And, and I mean, outside of black metal, what other what what metal bands were you into beforehand? Ooh, Metallica, Slayer, Slipknot, Bullet from a Vantine, Trivium, all them bands. And then oh. I started getting into death as well. Oh, so, very good. Yeah. And would you be into? I, 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 I'm into the kind of earlier death stuff rather than mm. the later one when his voice was really kind of high pitched. Oh yeah, like sound of perseverance and all that. Yeah, I, I prefer the earlier stuff when it, it was really kind of low. Yeah. You know, and, um, like scream bloody gore. Yeah. Yeah. Leprosy and all that kind of stuff, class mm. stuff, um. What was it? Yeah. So, I mean, have you ever heard of a band called Akakaki? Never. There's a band for you to check out. I'd say you'll like that. Right. I will. Yeah. They're yeah, one of my favorite bands. I will. I will after this, actually. Uh, they're one of my favorite bands, and there's kind of black metal tones in there. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. But, uh, very cool band. Very, very, very cool band. And they've evolved with each album. I love, I love when bands evolve. Yeah. But stay within the realm of what they're doing and what they're known for, you know? Yeah, that's like what I did. I evolved from absolute shitty music, like shitty atmospheric mix to all that shit, down to like the summoning of the gods type music, yeah. and then into the DSPM. Nice one. And how has the new um, release been received so far? Oh, a lot of positive feedback. Actually, I think all of it was positive. Excellent. That's, that's what you want. Absolutely, absolutely. Because like I've gotten, I've gotten people telling me like, oh yeah, all like the older metalheads, like the the people who think that they're the shit, like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're actually sound though. Um, <laughs> but um, I had a lot of people telling me that um, yeah, just like there's gonna be a lot of people hating on it because it's you wouldn't really fit into it but then at the same time with the new album i really actually like to me i think i did fucking amazing on that yeah i did my best piece yeah and and now in fairness how have you got 11 albums 11 albums is it 11 you have it's um 11 releases i have sorry 11 releases my apologies yeah. Um. I'm, I was like, because I, I quickly get went through everything, like you know, mm. that's a lot of that's still a lot of output, man. Oh, it is. I took a break. Um, I took a break there. Uh, around October to December from making it, but I was still releasing like mm. old old songs I've had. Um, and that's when I kind of like took us took a step back, reinvented myself. And then start of the year, I put out End of the World as we know it, that four track EP. Mm. And then, yeah, that's kind of where it came off, really. Fantastic. It's mm. fascinating. <laughs> it really is. Um, and would there be many of, would there be many kind of metalheads around your area or? My brother, sure. my Just best friend. 
<laughs> hey, that's all you need, really, isn't it? Yeah, that is. And my dad. Oh, was your dad a metaler, yeah? Uh, he's like more of a hard rock. Uh, he likes some metal, like Trivium. That's enough as well, so. Yeah, that's that's cool. And mm. did he? does he play instruments, sir? Oh, my dad's been playing guitar for... Steadily. 20, 30 years. So it runs in the family. Oh, yeah. On the boys' side and two of my sisters play as well. Lovely. And so that's... What what your dad think of your uh, of your style? Oh, he was like, he first of all he was like, this is a strange sound, and then you know he listened to it again, and then he was like, that's fucking class. Yeah, and that's then, it. Like I mean, I think I hold like if you're not into it initially, like me, as I said, you're mm. like that's just noise. But then when when it clicks, <laughs> it clicked with me about three years ago. Mm. The actual feeling of what was trying to be portrayed there, you know what I mean? And yeah. I was just like, yeah, I can get that now. And Jesus, there's some atmospheric stuff going on in some of those songs, like you know. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. So have you been? Have you been to any gigs or anything? Oh no. Yeah. Right. Okay. No gigs so, at the moment. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to start going to some now in the near future. Uh I mean, I'm suffering from a broken leg at the moment, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus, I'm in a boot. Oh, God. so that's that's is it, fucking... is it black? Um, yeah, that's all right. You know, just get people to sign it and fucking blood or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And people could say spray that to me as well. It. Like, yes, yeah, spray paint it like, like the slayer log or something. Like <laughs> Tomas, you know. <laughs> but uh, and have you uh, would you be familiar with many of the bands in the Irish metal scene? Or, um, I'm familiar with Horrenda. Death the Leveler, actually, fun fact, drummer of Death the Leveler is my uncle. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's his name again? Shane Cahill. Shane. He was in Mel Mordor, wasn't he? Yep. Yeah, I, we we had a rehearsal room with them a few years back. Very, I really like Mel Mordor, I have to say. Oh, yeah. Great band. Jeez. Yeah, I'm, wor- I'm working on a Mononon cover at the moment, so that's... Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, that's in the works. I tell you, I love that. Oh, he will. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah Jesus the whole family is stoked is steeped in music which is great mm, 100% some like my sisters would like one of my sisters likes rap and some metal like some metal here and there mm. other sister likes pop and then the boy side is just metal nah. and then my my mom likes a variety of stuff as well yeah it's it's nice to have a little variety around the place mm. It really is, you know. Um, yeah. So let me see. What was I going to say to you? So, yeah, you did everything yourself. You produced it yourself as well, did you? Yeah. I Right, right where I'm sitting. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, what, what are you using? You, uh, Pro Tools or? Um, FL Studio. Right, okay. Which is, um, I've been using it since probably when I was like 12. So when wow. I first got the trial and then I was like, right, started off making rap beats and all that. Then. Oh, cool. And then one time I got up a drum and then I was like, what would happen if I put random notes and then I created a blast beat somehow. And I was like, <laughs> that's that I've ne- like, that's cool. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh yeah. Um, and, and come here, like, were you just, did you just, see, did you just pick up the stuff yourself? Like, did you pick up everything yourself or? Yeah. Wow. Like I've had some influences from DSBM bands, like none life lover and Thylight. Right. But then also some um, some uh, influences there, like that the leveler as well. Right, yeah, of course. For some like slow parts, like Doomish, and then I like a band Dubai Gunner Freiheit. Um, I sent you their song. You sure did. Took inspiration from them as well, and just mishmashed everything together. Yeah. Um, isn't it great though to have that creative ability? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. You know, no matter what you're doing. To be able mm. to express yourself in a in a in a artistic way is yeah. fantastic, you know. And you're so lucky that you. I mean, I, I think I started singing when I was eighteen. I was like, I was halfway over like at that stage, you know. <laughs> and but I'm hearing more and more people now. Oh yeah, I was playing guitar when I was twelve, or I was writing when I was thirteen, and I'm like, Jesus, I would have loved to do that when I was that age. I should have done that, like you know. I never, never yeah. crossed my mind, like, you know. I've and, been playing guitar since a very, very young age. Brilliant. Yeah. So 
that's that really. And uh, yeah, you know, as I said, you're a, you're a one man project, right? Mm-hmm. Would you ever start up a band or have you a band or? Right. So I have a few really good few side projects that I'm after starting. There's I have a punk band, which is just me and a few friends like that live close to each other. We go to okay. school together. Really nice lads. We have that. I have a technical death metal band, Dystopia X. Um, okay. We're still working on the EP. Um, then another tech death band we're trying to come up with a name. We're going to, I think it's like Rings of Intent or something like that. Okay. Or something like that. And then another black metal project that I'm working with. So we still haven't come up with a name, but um, <laughs> that's that's it really. That's enough to keep you going. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, but the, isn't it great though? I mean, you can, isn't it, you know, to be able to experience so many different styles of music oh, yeah. and mm. have fun doing it, like, you know, like you're, you're, you don't have an awful lot to go to do outside of your, your, you know, music and that kind of, you're not, you know, what I mean is you don't have to worry about getting a job or yet. Oh, yeah. So you're able to just focus on your music, man. That's fucking cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing for the past year. I can't believe it's a year already since I've started that. That's over a year. Fair play. That's and I mean, I, I you, 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 you strike me as someone who has a shit ton of ideas all the time. Uh, sometimes, sometimes my mind would be full yeah. of stuff. And like today, I experienced writer's block for the first time. Oh, yeah, and oh, horrible. Like I had a riff, had the drums, and then I was like, Right, lyrics come to my mind, and then, fuck, none. <laughs> um, what would be your lyrical inspiration for a lot of your stuff? If do you are you going with like folklore stories, or is it real life stuff? Or, um, I do a mix of things. So some of it would be real life. Some okay. of it would be like some experiences that I've imagined in my head. Right. And then I tell it in. A perspective of someone who is going through that right okay if that makes sense that makes and then sense, yeah. and then there's a project the, the the song i'm working on with darren the asheri metal project that was um that's basically with the lyrics it's basically a dsbm song in itself right it's about a man who's trapped in his own mind as and has he thinks zombies are con- gonna come attacking him okay. only way to do it just well yeah <laughs> uh it's really good uh it came out really good i let dara i let dara do all the mixing so yeah uh, he's a he's a fantastic yeah. and, and another multi-talented guy as well yeah oh uh, yeah and another black metal head look what the fuck yeah. sorry with all you black metal head lads <laughs> <coughs> excuse me <laughs> i don't know um, um so yeah who else have, i mean i I'm trying to think of any of the bands I would like. I quite like a bit of Borsum. Oh yeah. Um, who did else did I real? Um, May not Mayhem. Um, Immortal. I used to like Immortal. I yeah, I haven't listened to Immortal <clears throat> in a while now. Mm. I, I liked actually. What was the what's the front man's name again? Um, it's not. It's not. Fine uh, reason No. No, but ah, oh, it's. <laughs> bothering me now but his solo album uh is fucking killed as well that's the one i was i can't think of his name now he's a he's a nut job anyway yeah most of them are i think anyway aren't they that's black metal for you <laughs> um so yeah what so what was i gonna say to you this yeah so the silent moon at dawn has, has that that got any any significance or because it's very black metal esque, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've had a lot of people text me like on Messenger, like through my Facebook page, saying this is some class shit and all that. And it got, I think it went over to America as well. Wow. And then I've had emails from like Japan <laughs> through my band camp saying, I really like your music. Deadly. And people wanting to do tape trades with me and everything. That's cool. Yeah. Because I, I haven't heard of that tape trading days since 2009 2010 yeah when 
when it really kicked off again. Yeah, it seems to be getting kind of back again. Yeah. Which you now it, again, it's it seems to be for certain aspects of the of the music. Oh yeah. You know, um, I'm, I always find it hilarious with tapes. Like, you know, that's what yeah, that's what I used to use when I was a, a young fella. It was mm. tapes, and then eventually it was CDs. Like, but yeah, I'm now I have all, and this sounds awful, but people are probably gonna kill me for this. But I have all my music in a little MP3 player, and like it's <laughs> it's 120 odd gigs of music, and it's there. But you know, and that suits me. You know, <laughs> all you do is just like get your headphones, fucking put on the track you want, yeah. put it on shuffle, and boom. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I do love a, a product. I do love a, yeah. a physical product as well, and especially like when you're making your own music. Mm. You know, like, do you have physical copies available of the new album? Mm. I do. Um, I have cassettes and I have CDs as well. They're in the process of being made by um, my distributor, uh, Depressive Illusion Records. Um, nice. Check them out, by the way. I will. And um, yeah, um, so it's basically just a CD or it's just a blank CD or then yeah. the music gets put onto it. Lovely. And would you can, I know it's probably a ways away off, but would you? Consider getting any merch done, or have you? I have, it? I have merch, but for oh. some reason, my fucking merch store keeps orders will not come in because I okay. I see people trying to order and then their money doesn't come from their PayPal or bank card, whatever, and okay. it doesn't come to me, and the product doesn't get ordered. So I have to check that. with check with Teespring, see what the problem is. Yeah, have a little look at it and see what the crack is because I mean. If people are wanting your stuff, you need yeah. to provide it for them. Yeah. Cool. I didn't realize you had uh, stuff available. I'll have a look at that now at some point. Um, so I asked you to send me some tracks. Yep. That, re- and so that really inspired you. And so tell people what the first track was, and we'll tra- talk a little bit about it. And then we're going to play a little snippet of it for everyone to hear okay so the right. first one was there's steel flutes by a german black metal band called der vag and a freiheit which means the path to freedom right and what was what what did what's what do you what blah, 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 sorry <laughs> what do you like about that song what's what gets you going with that one basically it's like it starts out as the clean tone and then it goes straight into fucking blast beats and yeah that that riff keeps playing over and over in my mind. And that was like, right. That's a class fucking song. Yeah. So that's one of my inspirations. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
that of the three that you let me you sent me i think that would have been and i'm not saying it's shit it probably was my least favorite song Mm, because it's like so fast and yeah i I love a little bit of it nastiness you know when when you can hear nastiness yeah you know and then so uh the second track was dissection storm of the lights band yeah and that was that was good i like that yeah have a chat to me about that one uh brother showed me dissection last year two years ago and um i really really got into it um obviously where dead angels lie is the track that i picked yeah and it was it's it's a lovely track i i don't really know why it's my inspiration Mm. it just is it's a good track man it's it's very good because it starts out with the acoustic and then Mm. go straight into that grittiness just loads to it there's just really mm. is loads to it like
Remember the third Batushka. one now? Oh, Batushka, Yektenia won. Oh, yes. It was the intro that got me on this. Starts out with them wooden instruments, and then yeah. it goes into the clean riff. Then the fucking eight strings.
it's day, I, so... I, I was I was trying to get into them for so long, and well, funny enough, it was either I was like that. I was saying to myself, I'm gonna give these kind of bands a chance, you know, because yeah, first of all, like they look awesome, you know, the the visuals. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, and so then I was I was looking at them and Portal, and do you like Portal? Never heard of them actually. Check them out. There's another. Will do. There's another bit of education for you there. Yeah. <laughs> so I was looking at Portal and I was looking at Patushka and um you know they they they're all hooded figures and all this kind of stuff, which is cool. I love all yeah. I love that. It's like it's like a fucking mass. Yeah. Like 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 you're in church. Like that is I think some of their performances were like black masses or something. Yeah. You know, it's uh but anyway, yeah. Uh so the, the Batushka track was probably my favorite of the three. Yeah, same um, here. Cause it's I don't know it's just it's different but it's there's a familiarity there as well. You know? It's it's like atmospheric mixed with mixed with choirs, and then it goes into the vocals yeah. and the blast beats as well, and that's just oof. yeah, it's nasty. Nasty. <laughs> um, what's your kind of would you what what would you like to achieve with your music? Um. I don't really have any goals for my music. I I just want to have my story out there for other people to connect with, to find people like me around the Irish scene. But now since, since like I've seen people streaming over America, I was like, okay, this is, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're messing, we're messing, by the way. I know that's. I mean, that's great. I must feel great, man. At, you know, to be just have to bring in something out and it's getting all over the place. Yeah, got to England as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ah, sure. We all have to go there at some point, you know. Yep. What uh, are you into? Um, like any dead metal bands, really? Um, you've Cannibal Corpse. There would they be classified as death metal? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Cannibal Corpse, Death. Um. Oh fuck! I'm blanking out. Uh, <laughs> suicide Silence is is not death. No, it's not. Like Shadow of Intent. All of that stuff. I think. Right. I think they're death metal. I'm not sure. Well, but do you like? Have you heard Morbid Angel at all? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, Morbid Angel. That's where I'm at. Morbid Angel. Mm. <laughs> you know? They're they're class now. Yeah, there's some nasty stuff and and and. The lyrical, uh, the lyrical stuff. Their lyrics are class as well. You know, it's all mm. kind of not like pre-paganism and all that kind of stuff. It's it's yeah, some de- it really interesting stuff. You know, um, but yeah, that's really that's really awesome, man. It's, it's great to um, have a quick chat with you because um, I, oh, before we say go any further, tell me how you got into the Ashiri. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Right. Sorry. <laughs> right. Shout out to Daryl O'Connor on this one. Yes. Right. So I I found out about Sherry. Um it came up as an ad on my Facebook. So I was just like, okay, might as well see what this is about. Joined the group. Or I think it was I think yeah, I joined the group and then I messaged Dara saying, Hey, you know, I'm new to the this Sherry, all our metal project. Um, would you like to collaborate on a track? And then Dara actually texted me saying, I actually wanted to reach out to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> so then, you know, it started from there and now we have our track finished. So awesome. Now he had really? told he had told me about you. Really? Yeah, that he's heard about you and he wanted to work with you. So it was almost like it was just meant to happen, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that the track is fucking brutal. Yeah. Brutal. It, it's going to be a, an interesting concept, this whole... And I mean, this could be a little introduction for you to the Irish scene, really. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm doing two tracks, two full tracks and a, a section on another track. Um, yeah, I've seen the clip of you doing vocals on one of them. That was <laughs> fucking class. <laughs> I finished some yesterday for my second track now, and I was... I was real. I was real happy with that. So, it's yeah. just great for everybody to be working together. 
oh, yeah. you know that's that's what it's about like yeah and like like you'll see now like you know real bands are probably going to be formed from this mm, hopefully yeah i know one of my projects we're going to be working on um an ep in the future really so, yeah absolutely and Jesus. Um, i'll tell you more about that later on but, um, <laughs> yeah <clears throat> I don't want to give away anything to, to everyone else, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, but like it's great and it's a great feeling to be able mm. to collaborate with people that you may not have collaborated with before or wanted to collaborate with. You yeah, know? because like I'm not good at I'm not good at like collaborating with other people. That's why I kind of wanted mm. to start my one man band. Yeah. And then then I started getting into all these different bands and I was like, wait, I can actually do something here. Yeah. So that was that, like. I mean, like, like if it it breaks down a couple of barriers for you. I mean, I could even turn around to you now and say, "Here, listen, if you want a bit of a different type of vocal, I can throw it down for you now." You know, <laughs> I know that's yeah. totally different, but like, there's now that kind of barrier broken. That, yeah, that's one less thing to worry about. Like, yeah, and that's what like myself and Dara really wanted to get across with this whole thing. Because like me and him were discussing it, you know, and yeah, it's about togetherness. I know that sounds real fucking, so bleh, but it's it's about you know getting our fucking scene back and getting it together. Yep. And giving even people like you a chance to get out there and you know come along and you know express yourself and get out, you know, do ex- do exactly what you want to do. Yeah. You know, in some small way, I hope that this is helping what people want to do, you know. Hopefully, like, one thing that I kind of, like, want to come out of the Isheri thing is, like, after COVID, obviously, this one big performance of all the different bands or all the different projects that, like, come on stage and then, you know, like, that's, that's, if that's, like... COVID ends soon enough yeah. and also however how many people like the project well that's it and uh, I think I think people will like the effort and the intent that we have for our projects I mean yeah. it's all like yeah okay we're all wanting to make music but it's for charity it's for Bernardo's and that's like that's a you can't ask for anything better than that, you know. And and I know for a fact, every cent that we make from this is going to the charity. Yep, I might see. I might donate some myself as well. Yeah. Well, here's the great. Here's the great thing. I mean, if anyone does want to donate, there, uh, you know, we'll put links up on on this uh, when it's up. Yep. And you know, like if you want to donate to Bernardo's, even just say to them that we're donating for the Assurity uh, Irish Metal Project. You know, there's all you. You can. There's so much good that we can all do in this world now. You yeah. Know, so. Especially in this time. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I am going to let you go for all now. Right. But would you come back onto the show at any point from me? Yeah. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Um. Right. Well, just before I go, give me your give me your three favorite albums in no particular order. Ooh. So you can just pick three, but they don't have to be in order. I've been waiting for this one. Right. Yeah. Trivium Ascendancy. Okay. Fucking solid album. Number two, um, Dissection Storm of the Lights Bane. Okay. Class album. Ooh. Probably Gojira Fortitude. That's the new one, is it? Yeah, I have it on vinyl there. Right. But it's cool. class. Cool. I've actually yet to listen to that. So I'm, really, yeah, I'm gonna have to have a check it out. Oh, it's, it's so much different. Really, in a, yeah. in a, in a good way now, or good way, right? Because good way. okay, well, I'll, I'll have I'll have to give that a listen. One hundred percent. Right. Well, look, Tomas, it's been fantastic talking to you. I really you enjoyed too. our chat. And uh, until next time, King Wall's Court is out of here. Adios. Yeah. That was cool, man. Oh, that was class. Thank you so much.